So fuck you, fuck your bullshit. LGBTQ lives matter. Have fun with your bullshit sky cake. <laughs> This is the interesting thing about this whole thing. They say that the body parts doesn't define what gender you are. This is what they say. Have you ever heard that before? They're saying your body part, you can be born with a male anatomy, but it doesn't define who you are. So then why are you going through a gender surgery if it doesn't define who you are? Why are you cutting off little willy if your body parts don't define who you are? Liar. Lesbians say, my body parts don't define who I are. Then why are you cutting off your breasts? Don't be a sheep. This guy's a fucking snake oil salesman. Snake oil salesman. Prove it. Prove it, man. Don't, don't talk to you. Prove it. You, you, want your, you want your mic? Come. Prove it. You can't prove it. You're just a coward. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come over here so that the, the, the microphone doesn't hit the speaker. Come here. No, come on the mic. Come on the mic. Get, get your speaker. In the end, the love you make. In the end. The love you make is equal to the love you take, and this guy's a transphobic piece of shit. So, fuck you, fuck your bullshit, LGBTQ lives matter, have fun with your bullshit sky cake. Okay, so you're gonna run off like a coward, you're a coward. You can't even get a rebuttal, can you? You can't. You know why? Because you're a coward. Cowards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Anybody could swear and curse at anybody. I mean, I could just tell you off and run away like a coward. That's why the Bible says cowards will not enter the kingdom of God. You know why? Because they don't stand around long enough to be challenged. Cowards always run because when the light shines in the darkness, it's going to remove the darkness. So what dark people do, evil people do, when you challenge them, they run away. Oh, here we go. There we go. Come on. No, now it's my time to talk to you. Now, you said love, whatever you said about love and LGBT rights, everybody has a right. You have a right to live righteous and you have a right to live in sin. And God is going to judge you at the end of the day. Come, come here so it doesn't squeak. Come here so it doesn't squeak. So this is what I'm going to ask you right now. If you were to die today, where would you go? I would be worm food. You would be worm food. Do you have a soul or a spirit? Do you believe that there's something inside of you that's beyond the physical? No, I believe in the here and the now. I believe that the mind cannot exist without the brain. I believe that evidence is what guides us and religion is the in, basically the intellectual ruins of the human race. So the only reason that you believe in Christianity is because you were born in North America. If you lived in India, you'd live in Hinduism. If you lived in ancient Rome, you'd be living in ancient Roman gods. If you lived in ancient Greece, you'd be living in Greek gods. Basically, you don't believe in Zeus, you don't believe in Apollo, you don't believe in Thor. The only reason you believe in Christianity is because it won out over other religions. You're actually a non-believer. The only difference between you and me is I went one God further than you. Okay, so tell me about this one God that you went further than me. I don't believe in the Judeo-Christian version of God. I don't believe in any God. I don't uh, believe that... So how do you have one God better than me if you have no God? That means you're lower no, no, than no, me, no. not higher than no, me. No, no, no. That's actually not what I said. You're, you're... Oh, so, so help me out. Sorry, maybe I misunderstood yeah. you. No. So, basic question. So do you believe in Zeus? Absolutely. So you're a polytheist? No, he was a fallen angel. Well, so you, you believe it? You do believe in Zeus then? Absolutely. So you believe in Apollo? Absolutely. Fallen angels, demonic spirits. So under that, I could, if I am a Hindu or if I am Jewish or I am a Buddhist, all those people can enter the kingdom of heaven. Is that right? I never said that. You said that. Listen, you know we're living in a multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-religious yeah. world. You're talking about yeah. love is love and LGBT rights, but yet you insulted my religion. I mean, you have no love inside your heart. You're not even living by your own version of love. So the reason why you're not is because your definition of love is self-made, man-made, and it contradicts itself. Everything that you see has a source and has a beginning. Even science disproves you. But the, the science says matter, energy cannot be created or destroyed, but only transferred from one existence to another. This is science. If you believe in That's science... science. That means that your energy, your soul, whatever you are, is going to live beyond the grave. You said you're going to be worm food. Something about you is going to live. You guys are not going to go You're not going to die. It's only a and, that, and that's why my God trumps sign. yours. My God, I don't have a God is the source of your life. You know how I know? Because even in your heart, you, 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 you get this heartbeat all the time. That's God knocking at your heart, telling you I exist. That's life right there. Life comes from God. I, I, I can, my rebuttal would be is nobody here knows where you came from or where you're going and that's fucking terrifying oh i know i came from my parents where did you come from 
I mean, in the sense of where do you go when you die? Consciousness is the greatest mystery in the universe, not this idea of an omnipotent person living in the sky. We live in a time where people are going to try and give you easy answers to questions, and a lot of people in the world today are preaching hate. And I believe that for you to go here and to, you know, belittle people church. that have body dysmorphia or... Like you, you just belittled my religion. Stay in the church. Well, so you're a hater. You're a Christophobe. You're a bible -phobe. Listen, I'm going to tell you I'm something. A, I'm not a bible -phobe. Well, then why'd you hate on my religion? You said I, I, I worship something fake, and, and it's, it's the cause of all the problems in this world. You, did, you just you're a you're a I'm miscorrect. Okay, so clear, clear it up. Clear it up. No, the point I was making is that I am a non-believer, but the reality is that you're also a non-believer. You don't believe in all those other gods. You call them fallen angels. No, I did. I, so I said I do believe in them. It's just, they're just not the true and the living God. There are but, people that call themselves God. The Bible says there's many the that are called. Says, so there's a, yeah. but, there's a, so, but the, the point I'm making is that you're not a polytheist. No. So what, 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 does that, what does that have to do with me not believing in Zeus? And I do believe. They're, they're, they, I believe they existed as fallen angels and demons. I just don't believe that they're the almighty God. Now, I, I want to ask you something. Do you believe that Jesus existed? Well, do you believe Jesus existed? The historicity of Jesus is actually of scholarly merit. Now, believing that Jesus is uh, the Son of God is another thing altogether. But don't yank it back to yourself. Let me finish my point. Sure. The point I was making is that I do not believe in these ancient gods. I don't believe in Zeus. I don't believe in Thor. I don't believe in Ramses. All these other gods, these, if you all, if let's say these folks uh, were growing up in India or they're growing up in ancient Egypt, they're growing up in Rome. They would believe in those gods because of the gods of their culture. No, that's what. That's why I said, you know, we live in a multicultural you're, you're country. Not me, you're no, no, hold on. No, what I'm saying is, is, there's Hindus, there's no, Muslims, there's Greeks, there's people yes, that believe in all sorts you, of things here. But, but under your belief system, you believe all those other folks that believe in all those other gods are going to go to hell because they do not accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Is that an accurate characterization of your belief system? Well, you said because religion is, or my, especially me, I'm, 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 I'm hateful. So that puts me in a category of the negative, not in the positive. So I do believe, just like you, that you're in a category of the negative and I'm in the positive. So you're no different from me. It's just that you, you just don't understand the fullness of what's negative and what's positive. So you categorize me in a version of hell, maybe not the same type well, of hell. No, but... You said that I'm in the negative. I'm a hater. Religion has a pro yes, religion is problematic, yes. so that puts us in a negative place. Well, and I'm saying it? to you, if you continue to live in your sin, which really is negative, you will be in a negative so who place. So, who so my question to you would be, who determines sin? The same person that defines love. Where did you get your definition of love? You made it up. See, I didn't make mine up. Mine comes from the Bible. So you want to know yes. where I, you know where, you know who defines sin? The holiest being that ever lived, and the holiest person that ever lived was Jesus. Come, 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 come. The main point I'm making is you have a foundational belief that there is one book that speaks truth. There's a lot of people, there's over 7 billion people on earth, and a lot of them also have foundational beliefs that believe that their books speak to truth. You can go through your whole life believing that only your book is the way to go. What I'm saying is it is completely circumstantial. The only problem I have with you being in the street, I'm a big believer in freedom of speech. I I defend your right to be I here and say what you want to. I defend your right to be here and say what you want to say. What I don't appreciate, and the reason I gave you the middle finger, is when I hear people saying that people who live in our society, people that die of, that have violence committed against them, people that uh, die uh, deaths of despair from suicide, Christians. I, no, I'm talking about trans, trans. Community. So you're talking about one community. What about the Christians that have been killed for 300 years, still persecuted? Cancelled in society simply for our beliefs. Do you care about them too? Well, you're engaging in what about us, and which is a really great tactic that we see on Fox News. What I'm talking about is real people. When I see a real community, and you're saying that they're living lies and that their desire to actually have some equality in our society, when you start belittling them, that is when I say fuck you and give you a little finger. And I walked away, and you said that I didn't have any rebuttals what you say, but. You know, I have lived in this world, I've lived in other places, I've lived in other countries. I lived in China, they have a very different belief system there. So, I love the fact that you're allowed to be here and to see what you want to say, and I've said my piece for my rebuttal, and these folks can think that I'm full of shit or you're full of shit, and that's, that's what I think is great about the place we live in. And I, I would defend your right to say what you want to say in these streets. Uh, I respectfully disagree with you. I respectively give you my middle finger because I think it's a hateful thing to say to the, you know these people. Are who, who, de who defines 
What's right and wrong to you? I think it's relative. To be relative. So it would be it would be right for me to steal your wallet. Well, within our society, I think the golden rule, which is has a root in Judeo Christianity, is a really good rule. You know, do unto others what they would do to you. So, 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 so question mark for you. Um, you're saying that truth is relative. Your morality, your standard is relative. So why, why then are you worried about my, my truth? Why even bother stick up your middle finger since it's relative? I mean, there is no standard. And if there's no standard, then, then there's no meaning behind even our words because I could make up my own meanings behind love. It sounds like you're making up your own definition of love. You ask me where I get my definitions. I get it from the Bible. And, and with all these different religions going on around the world, of course the people believe in a, in, in a lot of different things. But well, you know what I do? I examine them to see if it lines up with our logic. You see, mathematics is logical. Science is logical. Things make sense. Okay, this world is built on a foundation. It's book, built on you're, laws. You're, but the problem is, your book is not built on that logic. It's not built on, you know, the knowledge we've acquired the last 500 years. You're not going to find out about thermodynamics or quantum physics in that book. Hell, if I was going to write a Ten Commandments right now, I could do a hell of a lot better of a job than the Bible ever did. Tell, tell me what your version would be. Uh, well, for one, I would include things like rape and slavery. Those aren't Ten Commandments. I think those are worth more time to talk about. How could anyone in this audience right here could write a better Ten Commandments than is in the Bible? Because I don't know about you guys, but I think don't enslave people and don't rape them are pretty good commandments that are out there. So, and so, I think, yeah, and I right. also, and I also think that those are more urgent concerns for the human race than saying, you know, don't create, you know, don't create images of my. Basically, having commandments about uh, don't create idols that uh, rival mine. I mean, I don't know the exact words, but you know, I just like like I said, I, I respect your right to have a have a microphone and to proselytize, and I would actually defend that. If people try to stop you from doing that, I believe you have a right to do that. A raper is actually in the Ten Commandments because it's an extension of covetousness. You see, when oh. you when you covet your neighbor's things and you desire it beyond what's rightfully your, your neighbor's to do. things. Exactly. So you know who the woman that you raped belongs to? It belongs to the father. So when you start oh. coveting, yes, it does. Oh, is that so? So just so Canada 2023. Is that the direction you want to go into where women are property again? Absolutely. Listen. Oh, okay. Let me, let me oh. ask you something. Oh, okay. You know you, you can't you can't challenge the word, bro. You can't. I think I You're property of the government, man. Don't you pay your taxes? You don't pay your taxes? You don't pay your taxes, so you're an elite. You're, you're not a Canadian. Are, are you a, do you pay your taxes? Yes or no? Actually, I just wanted to make a point that I'm... No, no, do you pay your taxes? Yes, I do. Okay, so you're a slave or a citizen or you belong, you're under subjection to the government of Canada. Am I right or wrong? Well, whether I'm a slave to it, I think that that's a bit of a, you know, a hyperbolic term. Do you have to live by the laws of Canada? Well, there are two reasons why a person might live by laws. One, do you have to live by the laws see, of Canada? See, I just want well, no. It's just a question. I'll let protect, you, but if he keeps yanking it back and forth, okay, 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 fine, 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 really, do, you, do you have to live by the laws of Canada? Well, <laughs> I think if you if you want to not be incarcerated, then yes, you probably do. It so also, you're, okay. it also probably can I can, may I? It also probably depends on the law. So of course, if you if you tr if you start stabbing people or taking their wallets, then yes. You probably will be incarcerated quite quickly. If you are somebody who, uh, you know, is committing white collar crime, then yes, our criminal justice system has some problems in it. But our taxation system is there to uh, allow for an equitable society where you have street lights, where you have police officers, where you have clean drinking water. So I would say that your characterization of taxation as enslavement is not only uh, mischaracterization, but it's just plain wrong. It's the same reason why God has laws and we're subject to God and his laws bring freedom. And if you can understand that these laws, how even, that, even, even though that? you're subject, you're subject to the laws of Canada. When you're a subject, if you just look at the thesaurus, that means you're a slave. You're a servant to the laws of Canada. And we are subject to the laws of God because God's laws are holier and more righteous than the laws of man. Says who? Says, says, who? says the word of God, says, says me, yeah, says, says everybody before. around you, says, says the majority of Canada. In fact, the, 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 the actual uh, statement of the Charter of Freedom and Rights says we stand on the supremacy of God. This country is founded on the supremacy of God. So if you're a Canadian subject to the laws of Canada, you're subject to God.
you're a slave. And, and what makes it more important is that if you're not a slave to righteousness, you're a slave to sin. Anybody that surrenders or lives by a pattern is subject to a headship. What is the ruler? God, God, God bless you. May the Lord bring you to the truth. Have you ever read the entire Bible yet? Have you read the entire Bible yet? Have you read the theories of quantum mechanics? Have you read the entire Bible yet? And yes, I have read the theories of quantum mechanics. I just don't memorize everything. Have you read the entire Bible? Have you read the entire Bible? You see, sometimes people make decisions and they haven't even studied to see whether what they believe is, is true or not. Why make a, a judgment call on something that you've never tested, never examined, never read? I'm here to tell every person here, anything that governs your life is your governor. It's straight logic. When you say that there is no logic and everybody's truth is relative, all that means is there's no logic. There's no meaning behind things. There wouldn't be a world without logic, order, principle, and understanding. We wouldn't even be able to communicate. You wouldn't be listening to me today. There wouldn't be buildings standing up if everything was relative. That's why that theory of relativity doesn't make any sense in the long run. We wouldn't have mathematical equations at work. We wouldn't be able to fly in the sky. Anything that governs your life is your governor. And if you look at the thesaurus, governor means master, means Lord, and in fact, that's your God. And this is why the Bible says, he just said, why? if I can make a better law than God, he didn't realize that covetousness uh, or rape is the extension of covetousness. That's why there's 613 laws in the Torah. The Ten Commandments is simply a table of contents. Many of you didn't even know that. The Ten Commandments is a table of contents that expound, that, that, breaks down in a simple word this is how you should live and if you want the expounding of it read the rest of the book